defense that you guys were able to play tonight, um, how significant do you think that is uh, coming off of what you already were doing down in Orlando the last week or so? Um, I feel like it's starting to become our identity. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we lock in defensively. You know, our offense feeds off of that. You know, we get out of transition and make plays. And, um, it's fun, you know, we could just turn it on like that. And, you know, everybody just so into it on the defensive end. Eric, nine of your 14 points came in that stretch where you guys went on the 16-4 run right before the end of the first half. What were you able to take advantage of? What came open to you? Um, just going along with the flow. You know, as the game come in, uh, I found some spots in transition, um, found some lanes, and, you know, just, just playing. Eric, tell us about, you got to tell me about that dunk. Probably threw the hammer down. Yeah, um, I'm still a little surprised myself. You know, I put a lot of uh, a lot of work, you know, this off season in my body, and um, it's starting to pay off. You know, it's all coming along. So, so that's half a Kyle Tarps dog. I will, I will give a lot of credit to him. You know, he even on me. You know, um, even still, we in season, my diet still sticking to my diet, and you know, just making sure I'm staying on top of things in my body, and it's, it's paying off. If you've been hurt in a truck crash, call the Jackledge Law Group. We have decades of experience handling truck crashes. We recognize issues unique to trucks, including black box findings and DOT regulations. We find insurance others don't know exists. Some think the only coverage is with the truck, yet we've found millions more insurance with the broker. It's important to collect information, find representation immediately. Truck cases are complex. If you've been hurt in a truck crash, call 855-BIG-DOG-1 right now. All along we've heard about how deep this team is and when you can start off going I think over 10 from 3 in the first part of this game and then all of a sudden you get you know 4 or 6 and then you start rolling and win the game by the amount that you did. What's it say about this group right now? Um, it could be anybody any given night. You know, we're so talented, so deep that, you know, it's hard to just stop one person. You know, we got so many people that can play and, you know, our bench, they come in and they don't miss a beat. You know, everybody comes in, and it's just it's just a, a constant flow that we have right now. What was your view of Aaron's dunk right before halftime? I was just talking to him about it in the locker room. Usually, like he shot it, I turned around, and I just turned back around. I just seen him on the rim, and I know that I, I just seen it like after the game that he shot it, then went and go grab it and got to grab it again. So that was impressive. Uh, that's something I do on video games and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> do you think he knew it was short? To um, he like crashing the offense for that. He, he, he like putbacks in practice. He always getting putbacks. So the, I only turned around and seen the game. I only seen him on the rim. So I'm like, I thought somebody else shot it. And then he put it back. But for him to shoot it, then go get it, that was impressive. So that, what did you think of, I mean, what did you think of, you know, the blocks he was able to have all of them, all three of them were, you know, come first, just come from behind blocks? Oh, his uh, chase down blocks? Yeah. Yeah, I was, on, I was on the front end of a couple of them, you know, um, slowing my guy down. And he just comes down. Make one in place. You know, I think we we fed off of those. Again, with with four minutes left, you guys kind of took off in, in the first half. What starts to run like that, and, and why has that been the case so often this season? Um, I think in a game like in a game for us, it's just a matter of time before everything just start clicking. You know, now like we experience and we know how to play, so it's just a matter of time before we start rolling and we start playing. You know, to our capability. And stuff like that. What do you think has made the difference this season defensively for you guys, you know, to have that defensive identity that you talked about? Experience, you know, just we got a year under our belt and we know where to be in the right spots. And um, Coach trusts us, trusts us, you know, to fly around and, you know, we can switch a lot now because, you know, we have more experience and, you know, Coach, he trusts us a lot, you know, to go out there and execute the defensive game plan he set up for us. Eric, on the degree of difficulty, which dunk was better? <laughs> Um, I would say his was more impressive because the way he shot it and went and got that, like that was very impressive. But difficulty, uh, I think <laughs> I was trailing, I had to turn and catch it and put it down. You know, so I, I'm a little egotistic with that. So the way you guys are playing defense right now, how does that bode for you heading into conference play now where you know it's a conference that's known for, you know, banging and things of that nature? Um, credit to Notre Dame today, uh, Mooney and the other big guy, they were strong. You know, um, I think that'll prepare us for Illinois Saturday. And um, 
even Marquette, you know, we went down to Temple and, you know, a lot of teams, they, they got strong big guys. So I think it'll help us, you know, getting ready for Saturday. And just taking it one game at a time. One Sorry. Game at a time. Yeah. Uh, with having, you know, those big guys down low and Jalen down there and, you know, mm -hmm. able to, you know, have five blocks and 16 rebounds, what does that say just about the improvements that he was able to make with the offseason? The fact that he got 16.